Hello people, I'm Bharat Acharya. Welcome to my video. Uh, thanks for watching all these videos. You've been really encouraging me a lot. Your comments are all welcome. Thank you so much. Today's lecture, up to today's video, I'm going to teach you uh, logic instructions of ADA D6. They are so badly overlooked. So many people focus on the arithmetic instructions, the complex arithmetic instructions, and completely ignore these instructions because they are too simple. But hello, there are situations which if you get into, only a logic instruction can get you out. And even in exams, many a times to surprise students, they ask these instructions, their applications, because many people ignore them. They just treat them very lightly. They are not supposed to be. They are very simple, but they have their own good use. Okay. So logic instructions explore the logic gates. You know the three basic gates, AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate. So the instructions are very simple. AND BL, comma, CL. We'll do BL, AND it with CL, and we'll store the result in BL. BL is an 8-bit register, CL is an 8-bit register. When you add them bit by bit, the result will also be an 8-bit number. That 8-bit number will be stored in BL. Of course, I am going to teach you the application. First, I will just run through the instructions. All BL, comma, CL will do BL or CL. XOR will do BL, XOR, CL. Not BL will simply do BL bar. So, once complement. So, it's like a not gate. And test BL, comma, CL will do the same thing as AND, but AND will store the result in BL. Test will not store the result, will only affect the flags. I repeat, will only affect the flags. Now, what's the use of these instructions? First, let's come to this one. Not instruction. Uh, you got AND gate, you got OR gate, you got XOR gate. So suppose somebody just asks you, what if I want to do a NAND? What do I do? Now, if you know your gates properly, what is a NAND? An AND gate followed by a NOT gate. So first perform an AND, follow it up with a NOT, that is as good as a NAND. OR followed by a NOT is a NOT. XOR followed by a NOT is an XNOT. So the job of NOT gate is to produce those three derived gates, the NAND gate, NOT gate and the XNOT gate. Tell me, did you understand that? Now what's the use of these operations, AND, OR and XOR? They are so interesting, you'll be wow once you know it, just two, three minutes. AND gate, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, so we'll give you 0, 0, 0, 1. I'm sure everybody knows their gates, yeah? OR gate, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. We'll give you 0, 1, 1, 1. XOR gate, 0, 0, blah, 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 we'll give you 0, 1, 1, 0. So let's use that. Suppose BL register is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. It's an 8 bit register, so it has an 8 bit value. This is 3, this is 5, so the number right now is 35. So BL right now has the value 35. Are you with me? Now, suppose somebody tells you, clear the lower nibble. Clear the lower nibble means this is the lower nibble. It should become 0, but the higher nibble should remain the same which means 35 should become 30. So you would say, well, what's the big deal? Subtract 5. Yeah, my friend, you will subtract 5 if you know that the number is 35. What if the number was 37? Then you have to subtract 7. Problem is, you don't know what the number is. I tell you, this is a number I've got from memory. Now clear out the lower nibble without affecting the higher nibble. You don't even know what the number is. How will you know what to subtract? So here, no kind of arithmetic operation is going to help you. What you need to do now is a logic operation. Which one are you going to do? AND, OR, or XOR? Obviously AND, this is next to AND, this is next to OR, this is next to XOR. So this is going to be done by AND. See the beauty of AND gate. Come on. Many people know these gates but have no idea why these gates are made. Look here. 0 or 1. Anything if you AND with 0 becomes 0. But anything if you AND with 1 remains the same. I repeat, anything ended with 0 becomes 0. Anything ended with 1 remains the same. So that's the idea we're going to use. I will end these bits with 0. So whatever they are, they'll be wiped out, they'll become 0. But you can't do a 4-bit operation. If you're doing, you have to operate on all 8 bits. So in order to not affect this part, you'll end these bits with 1. Anything you end with 1 remains the same. Anything you end with 0 becomes 0. This number is F. This number is 0. If you read out the whole thing, that is F0. So if you end BL register with the value F0, you end in BL with F0, the result will come in BL. This will be your BL. 35 will become 30. Uh, if you know practicals, if you've been for practicals, type F0 as 0, F0. Every number that begins with an alphabet, should have a leading zero. Otherwise, assembler assumes it to be a variable and will tell you undefined variable and you'll never be able to assemble the program. Anyways, that's apart from this. The point is, that's just for the sake of assembler. 
what you've done is this is f, this is 0, ending this number with f0 will wipe out the lower nibble but maintain the higher nibble. Tell me, did you understand this? So if you want to clear the lower nibble, you add it with 0. Similarly, one more example. BL is 3, 5, again the same number, 35. This time I want you to set the lower nibble. Set the lower nibble means lower nibble should become all once, but higher nibble should remain the same. Okay, what do you do now? And or XOR. Yeah, or anything you or with 0 remains the same, remains the same. But anything you or with 1 becomes 1. Again, anything or with 0 remains the same. Anything or with 1 becomes 1. So, if you want to make the lower nibble 1, all these bits with 1, whatever they were, they will become 1. Tell me, did you understand this? But all these bits with 0, anything or with 0 remains the same. Anything or with 1 becomes 1. So, what is this number? 0, F. Or... BL with 0 FH. The result will come back in BL. Higher level will remain the same, lower level will become all, will come all once. Can we, did you understand? So to clear you use AND, to set you use OR. Similarly to complement, this is your lower level. I want you to complement the lower level. 1 should become 0, 0 should become 1, 0, 1. But the higher level should remain the same. Now I don't want to complement the whole number. Please understand, if I want to complement the whole number, I do a NOT operation. A not, not BL, will simply do a complement of the whole number. That's the whole case. I don't complement the whole number, only the lower nibble. So look here. 0 or 1, anything if you XOR with 0 remains the same. But anything if you XOR with 1 gets complemented. See for yourself, 0 is becoming 1, 1 is becoming 0. I repeat, anything XOR with 0 remains the same. Anything XOR with 1 gets complemented. So, XOR these bits with 1, these bits with 0. This will remain the same, but this will get complemented. The number is 0F. You will do XOR BL, 0FH. The result will come back in BL. Tell me, did you understand this? So, to summarize, when do you use each one of them? They ask this even in oral questions. Why? Why? They ask this in entrance exams. Um, all of this with examples is there in my book, okay. This book contains everything that a student would want to know in 8086. It's about 250 pages, right from the beginning architecture going into instructions, every instruction going into addressing modes, programming, circuit designing, interfacing with different peripherals, etc, etc. It's available on Amazon. It's called Microprocessor by Bharatacharya. Even the soft copy, in case you like to use soft copy, if you want to book in your phone all the time or in your iPad or whatever, if you just want to save trees, I appreciate that thought. The soft copy is there on Kindle. You can get it from Kindle. You can get the physical copy from Amazon. It will be delivered within two days. Anyways, pan India, even across the world. Now, so coming back. Uh, giving you more examples and many more examples in the book, I'll just give you one more. So this is a very typical question asked in Viva in oral exams. An examiner draws a register, an 8-bit register and points at any one bit. Okay, so I'm pointing at this bit. He or she, whoever is your examiner, will tell you, make this bit 1. Don't affect anything else but make this bit 1. How do you do it? You want to make it 1. Come on my friend, come on, make it 1. What do you do? and or XOR, you want to make it 1, you will OR, OR this bit with 1, OR everything else with 0. The number is 1, 0, H. If you OR this register with the value 1, 0, H, all other bits will remain the same. You don't even know what they were, but they will remain the same. But this particular bit will end up becoming 1. Tell me, did you understand this? I draw a register and I tell you, make these two bits 0. Don't affect anything else, make these two bits 0. And these two bits with 0, but the remaining bits with 1. I tell you, make these two bits complemented without affecting anything else. XOR these two bits with 0 and the, with XOR these two bits with 1 and the remaining bits with 0. So the idea is, this is a register, 8-bit register. If you want to make any bit 0 and that bit with 0, remaining bits with 1. If you want to make any bit 1 or that bit with 1, remaining bits with 0. If you want to complement any bit, XOR that bit with 1 and the remaining bits with 0. These things cannot be done by any arithmetic operation. If you get a question like this in your exam, the only thing that can bail you out is the knowledge of logic instructions. So just thought you should know it because so many people ignore it thinking they are too simple. Yeah, they are very simple. But what they do, no arithmetic instruction can do. 
Okay, I hope this video was useful. It was worth your time. Please send me all your suggestions. Uh, I appreciate. I try to uh, reply to each one of them as much as possible, and uh, that just encourages me to do more work. I'll try to upload more videos as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Uh, just show me uh, your love. That's it. Thank you so much.